Good morning. It is Saturday, March 4th. It is 7.09 a.m. I am up early this Saturday because I am doing a 5K with my dad and then it's people from my dad's gym. Um, it's a local one, so we'll do that. I am bringing um, earbuds. I'm bringing my Stony Clover Baby Yoda fanny pack because I cannot find the princess one. Um, I'm going to have to find where that is because I would kind of like to wear that one maybe tomorrow. I also got to find where my Disney pins are. I should text Casey a blueberry about that. Fun fact, we send each other the word blueberry and then the things we have to do. That way, if we did search blueberry, we can see all the th things we did because blueberry is not really something that comes up in conversation besides we'll remember it. So, yeah. But let's put my, my other shoe and let's go. Let's do a haul. So, I went to Home Goods. Bell's Outlet, Five Below. They're all in the same plaza with an Ulta. Didn't go in Ulta, thought about it because I had a gift card, but I didn't. So we're gonna start with Home Goods first. So kind of very random. Um, we got these cookie cutters that we're gonna check out. They were $2.99. And then this chocolate duck, um, which was $3.99. From Bell's Outlet, we got this reusable bag. I am a sucker for the reusable bags. Um, so I got this one. There's also a husky on it. That's part of the main reason. Um, then they had got this bag. Um, it's adorable. It, it was four inches by seven inches. So it's just a little bit bigger than like the Raymond James Stadium bag policy. But, you know, I'm going to test it in another place that has a no bag policy at the same time and see what they react to that. Um, then... They had so many cute earrings, so I got these ice cream ones, these gorgeous butterfly ones that have like flowers on them. These scream Epcot Flower and Garden, but these also scream Flower and Garden. Um, and then these are like very beachy, but also like mermaidy. Um, so we'll definitely have to be wearing all these. I love earrings. And then from Five Below for myself, I got some stuff for my classroom for my prize bin, which I'll show when I'm in my classroom. Again, I got these glitter pastel rainbow bags. Um, you touch them and the glitter comes all over you. Um, like my phone was covered in glitter while shopping. Um, the, this really cute rainbow faded gradient confetti um, tissue paper. I said I got the chalk and then I had like a sweet tooth when I was checking out, but then it went away. But these were a snack that I haven't seen in years. I remember these being really popular for a bit. Um, and then I saw them and I was like, oh, I haven't had one of these in years. I wonder if they're still good as I remember. And so, first, you know, we're gonna try it on camera. We're gonna see if it's as good as I remember in my head. Um, or if I hate them now. Okay, they're like spongy and like squishy. They're a lot more dry than I remember. And they're so, the icing is so sweet. It's one of those sweet that like, you feel the shock in your teeth right away. So I probably will only be able to eat one of these. But not bad. But definitely will be drinking a lot of my water after it. That's my haul. I don't know really what else I'm gonna do this night. Oh, I made some earrings for um, their Eras Tour inspired. Um, they have all the colors of the eras and a little star at the top. Um, but I probably am not sure what I'm going to do. Tomorrow's an exciting day. Going to Epcot with Casey and Sharon. So that'll be its own vlog. So maybe this will be its own vlog and it's just kind of like a short vlog. Um, let me see. Today went, was a week in my life teacher edition that went up. It had picture day and book character day in it. Tomorrow, as I'm filming this, but you're going to be in the past when you're watching this. Um was my like seeing enchantment for the last time because I won't get to Magic Kingdom before the 50th celebration is over. I have an Epcot trip plan and an Animal Kingdom trip plan before the 50th is over. But then after that, it's going to be April <laughs> when I go to Magic Kingdom next. Um, also, I feel like maybe I should try and get the Hollywood Studios one last time before the 50th is over because I don't really go to the Hollywood Studios that often. But I guess you'll find out with me on my channel if it goes up. I'm also trying to post on Schwartz more. I need to get better at that. But, um, yeah. I guess 
that I'm going to call it a night for this vlog just because I really don't see myself picking up the camera and doing anything exciting because it's like eight o'clock and <laughs> I am a grandma. Um, I go to bed at like 1030, which isn't that early, but it's much earlier than I used to. When I was in college, I was going to bed at like one, two, eight. So 1030 is a lot earlier for me, but yeah. Okay. Bye. Morning. It is Sunday, March 5th, and today I'm going to Epcot's Flower and Garden with Casey and Sharon. I have this dress that I got from Torrid um, in their <laughs> size it's zero, which is equivalent to a large because I don't know about you, but anyone else would struggle. If I look in like the regular store sometimes, it's like the dresses. There's like no dresses for people who are like in their 20s. It's either it has like 75 cutouts and is super short because it's meant for a junior, um, which is like teens in their smaller sizing. Um, or it looks like it's mother of the bride and it's like too matronly and like, there's nothing really for like 20 somethings it feels like that aren't like just a t solid color t-shirt dress. Like we want more fun things too that are also still like modest because I like to buy things that I can use for both Disney and teaching and so I got this dress um it's like a three-quarter puff sleeve or a half puff sleeve um it's just bright pink I love this color pink it's my favorite um but we're gonna get ready I currently have if you can hear anything in the background I currently have the air fryer going I am a person I don't really like breakfast food so like hold on my watch is trying to go it's talking it's like picking up what I'm saying um so it's 9 49 but I'm literally making tater tots and chicken nuggets because I just, I don't know. I just like most breakfast foods, like I don't vibe with. I like pancakes and waffles and stuff, but like I don't want to make that right now. Especially like if you're going to make batter, you're making more than just enough for one person. And I'm like, I don't want to do that <laughs> right now. So yeah. But also, so the plan is makeup, grow my hair. I think I might do my hair first because if I'm gonna eat, I don't wanna wipe off the makeup. So let's get to that. Okay, and this is the finished look. I decided I was gonna go with these earrings. I can wear the white ones anytime. I feel like Epcot is the best place to be. I use the Wings Club ColourPop palette, use the pink shades and the green shades, and then I use a Juvia's Place liquid glitter for the inner corner. So this is the look. In the parking lot, and it's starting to rain. Okay, so I just got back to my car. I didn't really vlog much. I got some clips that are vertical, which I'll insert them in the vlog. Well, you probably have already seen it by this. Um, but I had to share the cutest experience. So I went into the um, pin store that's right by Spaceship Earth. And I, there was like, there was a guy checking out next to me and, then, and his like wife and two kids were <laughs> out there. And she asked me, I was like, do you have any trading pins? They have a Donald signature one. And I guess one of the little girls really wanted it. And he did and me, I, I'm a teacher. I'm a sucker for little kids. Like I love like making their day. Um, and so like, I was like, what I did, I took one of my pin box. I didn't say anything at first and I got the, my pin out. I traded for it and then you could, and then I immediately gave, turned around and gave it to them. And they're like, no, you didn't really have to do that. I was like, no, I wanted to. And then the dad was like, I'll go in and buy you a pin as if it was like, no, you don't really don't have to do it. And like we insist, like, and even the mom's like, go in, he'll buy you a pin. Like, as I was like, no, I don't have to. I just wanted to like do that and then I walked away and they're like thank you so much and the mom gave me a hug which was like really cute but that was just something I had to share because it made my day and I know it made their day too so that was just a little fun little like Disney magic for making for other people because I just especially when there's little kids and they want to pin like say no more like I will trade for them especially because there was nothing really on the board that I wanted but seeing that they wanted and I want to make sure they got it before anyone else because there was a bit of a crowd um, but now I'm gonna go home. I will probably do a haul of all the stuff I got. I got a lot of pins. I also got another Marvel bag. I mean, you saw me opening that one bag, um, because this one has Scarlet Witch on it. We are manifesting that we got Scarlet Witch. We got Black Widow in the first one. If we get her, we're good, and then we can trade the others. Um, but now we're gonna drive home. It's probably gonna be like an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how traffic is on my floor. But let's go home. <laughs> 